April 2021, I graduated from the University of Waterloo in Canada with a degree in mechanical engineering. Summer of 2021, I was doing a postgraduate type engineering internship at Tesla. Life was good. Fast forward to today, the internship ended and I'm an unemployed engineering graduate with over two years of engineering internship experience and a $60,000 piece of paper on the hunt for my first ever full-time job. Brace yourselves because this is what a messy job hunting day in my life is like. Being unemployed means that I don't need to wake up early, so my body naturally wakes me up at 11 a.m. Like most of us, first thing I do is check my phone, specifically my email to see if I have any job interview requests. But of course, without surprise, I find another rejection email in my inbox. A little discouraged, I spend the next 30 minutes being a complete waste man and scrolling through TikTok to get hit with a little bit of dopamine to make up for the despair I feel as a result of the rejection I just got. I then spend another 15 minutes scrolling through LinkedIn to see if there are any new job openings. But before I could even do that, my LinkedIn feed hates me and decides to share with me someone's post bragging about how they have job offers from Google, Facebook, and Lyft. The people on my LinkedIn feed were all hired for software roles which makes me doubt whether choosing mechanical engineering was a good choice. I finally roll out of bed around noon, have some breakfast, take a shower, then make my way to my desk to start applying to jobs on LinkedIn. When job hunting, I usually do one of two things. First, I'll go through all the recent job postings and filter by job title, location, and experience, and only apply to the jobs I find interesting. Second, I have LinkedIn Premium, so I'll send a message to the recruiter or hiring manager for the jobs I really like. I do this to hopefully get me to stand out amongst the larger pool of applicants. I spend about 1-2 to two hours just doing this with the hope that some of these companies will get back to me with an interview. Feeling productive and optimistic, I go have some lunch, but right as I sit down, I get this email. Thank you Tamer for the follow up, blah 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 blah, although you have good experience, the team felt it wasn't a good match for its current needs. That's two rejections so far, so rejections two and Tamer zero. But you know what's the best thing to do after being rejected? Hitting the gym. This whole job hunting thing has been so frustrating, so I take that frustration to the gym. I'm not even kidding, I just think about these rejections and I end up lifting more weight than I thought possible. It's weird, but I find rejection better fuels my workout compared to taking pre-workout or even drinking coffee. So I guess that's one good thing that comes out of being unemployed. I start off every workout with a little warm up and a couple sets of pull ups to get ready. Today's main workout was a push workout and it began with 3 sets of medium heavy bench press then I did 3 sets of incline dumbbell press to really focus on my upper chest which is a weak point of mine. You just incline uh, press 55 pounds, how do you feel? It's good. I think I do more, I think I do 60s. Jeez, man, that's going for 60. Rejections really fueled me enough to be able to do 60s, so that felt amazing. Moving on, had to hit the machine chest press for 3 sets, that really gave my chest a crazy pump. After attacking my chest, I had to do some tricep work where I did 3 sets of tricep pushdowns and 3 sets of overhead tricep extensions to attack the different heads in that muscle group. Finally, the workout ends with some solid machine dips to fully burn out the triceps. The pump is real at this point, so I walk out feeling good and productive. As I head out the gym and walk to my car, I get a calendar notification that reminds me that I have a job interview in 1 hour. This interview is for a startup that I applied to on LinkedIn a couple weeks ago. Whenever I get a job interview, I immediately put it in my Google Calendar because if I don't, then I'll forget all about it. I get home, take a shower, then head to my desk to review some stuff before my interview at 5pm. I have a bunch of documents in my Google Drive that has notes and answers to the most common interview questions I get asked. So I make sure to review it really quickly. These documents include a detailed answer to the tell me about yourself question as well as a comprehensive summary of all the projects that I have on my resume. I also have a list of the most common mechanical engineering technical questions and answers so I can review it before the interview. If you're interested in having a look at it, I'll link the document in the video description. Although my virtual interview was scheduled for 4pm, my interviewers showed up a few minutes late and we start at 4.05pm. They start off by asking me about myself and my past experience. They then tell me a little bit about the role and what the startup is like. Afterwards, they ask me a few technical questions which were similar to what I reviewed before the interview. First question. Second question. Third question. Fourth question. Fifth question. Sixth question. The interview then ends around 6.30 p.m. and I thought it went well. This was actually the third stage in the interview process with this startup and they said to let me know in a couple days if I got the offer. I'm happy that they gave me a time frame but now I'll be anxiously checking my email for notifications for the next couple of days. One of the biggest things that helps keep me sane in this stressful time is having hobbies and one of my main hobbies right now is gymnastics. I train a little bit on the bars, do some backflips and some air tricks. 
There were three moves that I was working on today. First, the swing 360 where you let go of the bar and spin midair. Second, pommel circles where you move your body around the mushroom without your feet touching the ground. Third, I wanted to improve my backflip so that I can jump higher and land in the same spot I took off. For the swing 360, it took me a few tries to get it since I was trying to get over the fear of hitting my head on the bar when I catch it again. But I remembered how much it hurt when I got rejected twice this morning and that fueled me enough to have the courage to land it successfully. Yeah, yeah, right. Even did it again, and again. For the pommel circles, I kept trying and trying, but I can't seem to have enough momentum to get my body around. One of the guys that was there was telling me that I need to lean a lot more on my hands and put less weight on my feet. So I tried it again and again, but still nothing. Then a couple of kids came by and decided to show me how it's done. These kids were actually really, really impressive. I low-key felt a little embarrassed. Using them as motivation, I thought I'd get it this time, but I failed again and again. Looks like I'll get this one on another day. Decided to end off today's training with some backflips. I haven't done them in a while, but I just go for it and do my first one. And it wasn't perfect, but thankfully I'm alive, which is what matters. I keep trying to do this flip over and over and over again because I'm trying to jump higher and land in the exact same spot, but still no success. There were some good ones, but looks like they still need some more work that I'll have to do on another day. I then get home from gymnastics around 9 p.m., take a shower, and it's honestly still kind of early, so I'm back in front of my laptop applying to some more jobs on LinkedIn and AngelList. Most of the companies that I'm applying to on these sites are startups rather than larger tech companies, mainly because from my past work experiences, I always found startups to be the most interesting, fun, and I got to learn the most from them in comparison to the more corporate culture that exists in the bigger tech companies. After about an hour of applying to jobs, I then become a total waste man and spend the next 30 minutes scrolling through TikTok. I'm not proud of it, but this always happens. After being productive for a while, my mind just has to make me procrastinate. My TikTok binge ends at around 10.30pm when I get an email from a company I interviewed for last week. I was excited for a minute but the email just turned out to be another rejection, which means I have now received a total of 3 rejections today. So for today, rejections 3 and Tamer 0. The good news though is so far the startup that I interviewed for earlier today still hasn't rejected me so I still have some hope. After this rejection, I felt a little discouraged, so I decided to indulge in another one of my hobbies, filmmaking and videography. I bought this new camera and lens a few days ago, so I decided to unbox it now and set it up. The main reason for getting this camera is to hopefully increase my YouTube video quality, and I always wanted to learn a little bit about photography and videography, so I decided this camera would be a good start. Job hunting and rejections honestly takes a huge toll on me and having hobbies like working out, gymnastics, filmmaking and photography helps me cope with it all. One of the things I always try to remember is although I'm unemployed now and I really miss working as an engineer, I have time that would otherwise be filled working for someone else. So might as well spend this time working for myself and doing cool things I enjoy. Anyways, cameras can be confusing, how do you even work this thing? Might just have to watch some tutorials on YouTube to make sense of this camera. Fast forward an hour and a half later, I finally figured out how to get the camera to give me the look that I want. I then set up my YouTube studio and start filming my first YouTube video with this new camera. These 90 minutes of filming later turn into a 12 minute video with the hopefully clickbait title of Ranking Engineering School Courses From Easiest to Hardest. I really like engineering but instead of being upset and disappointed all day of not being able to work as a mechanical design engineer, I spend this time working on other dreams of mine like becoming a YouTuber and being able to do a double backflip one day. If you don't know what that is, it's essentially when you jump in the air, rotate your body twice, then land. Also, whenever I'm anxiously waiting to hear back from a company I interviewed for, my hobbies really help me take my mind off that anxiety. Anyways, it's now about 2am and I start feeling sleepy, but before going to sleep, my mind somehow convinces me to watch an episode of You on Netflix before going to bed. If you haven't heard of that show already, it basically revolves around this guy that has an insane crush on this girl and literally does anything he can to get closer to her, including obsessive stalking or even going as far as to remove any obstacle, including people, that stands in his way of getting to her. It's pretty interesting, but after finishing this episode, I just sit there, anxiously thinking and staring at the ceiling for a while, wondering about what the startup I interviewed with earlier this day has in store for me. Okay, it's now been about a week since I filmed the original video and this sort of took a little longer than expected to get back to me but they just sent me an email saying there's an update on the hiring process so I'm gonna log into this little application portal that they have and see what they have to say. Alright, I'm honestly really scared right now. Alright, 
Let me log in. Okay, Tamer, we're delighted to announce we would like to offer you this job. Yes! Oh my god, it's such a relief to like not be unemployed anymore. Thank <laughs> you.